A town in eastern Kelowland is getting visitors from all different parts of the world. Huron is hosting the National Junior High Finals Rodeo for a second straight year in a row. Kelowland's Kelly Volk traveled there today to find out what kind of impact it has on the city. Business is heating up at the Lodge Steakhouse and Lounge. Crowds are picking up quite a bit. That's because the Huron restaurant has more people to serve this week with a major rodeo in town. Lots of money spread around the town, which is very, very good for our community. So we're happy to have the rodeo here. The competition comes with 1,150 contestants alone. So you got brothers, sisters, mom, dad, grandma, and grandpa all following along with this rodeo journey that they're taking them on. Overall, the Huron Chamber and Visitors Bureau estimates the rodeo is bringing in extra 5,200 people to town. This will give you some perspective on just how big this event is. The National the National High School Rodeo Association says there are more than 800 golf carts on the grounds this week and nearly 1,100 campsites are being used. Yeah. <laughs> Competitor Emily Legg and her family traveled all the way from West Virginia. Oh, it's cool. It's different than the home. Not only are the kids and their families coming from all over the U.S., but also Canada, Mexico, and Australia. It's the chance for these kids to become world champions. And it's the chance for Huron to give the world a taste of what it has to offer. It's a nice, um, a nice scene, nice change of scenery. In Huron, Kelly Volk, Kelloland News. So local tourism officials say that the rodeo is estimated to have an economic impact of at least $2.2 million. The rodeo started on Sunday and runs through Saturday. It'll be held in Des Moines next year.